I like to photograph kind of untold stories really about the British landscape. And I think you know, more recently um, that story has been Boffy culture. Black Dots is a project exploring Bothies uh, across the whole of the United Kingdom. The project sort of came out of nowhere and, and grew out of a sort of fascination and intrigue really. And I think the best projects, that's where they come from. The interesting thing about Boffies and, and the culture that surrounds them is that it's a story that's constantly changing and it's constantly evolving. With every time someone new enters a Bothy, the story gets a little bit bigger. And this, the same Bothy can change depending on the weather and depending on the people that are there. So there, there's so many ways in which the, the, the Bothy story can, can evolve and can change over time. When you, you sort of walk into a Bothy, especially if you're the first one there or the only one there, uh, it, it can sometimes seem like quite an intimidating experience. You walk into this cold, dark space um, that is incredibly primitive and very bare bones. Um, but it's, it's surprising how quickly these kind of little shelters can come alive and be converted into this really kind of homely, cosy atmosphere uh, when, a, when the fire's raging and you've got the candles on. And, sipping into a whiskey and things like that. My name is Nicholas White and I am a photographer. Warn Scale is what I believe to be an old mining structure. Inside it's got this amazing window that just overlooks, like directly over Buttermere, uh, and it's just the most idyllic location and such a beautiful view for what is essentially a very rugged and sort of industrial landscape. I use the large format camera to shoot most, if not all, of my personal work. Um, I think, you know, maybe, maybe part of it is perhaps a break away from the fact that I shoot an entirely digital workflow when I'm not doing personal work. So it's quite nice to be able to come out somewhere like this, slow it right down and make me think about my photography but also give the landscape the time that it deserves. And when you're out in the mountains and you're using an old manual camera like that and you're just so focused on operating all these little sort of knobs and kind of dials, it just becomes just part of that experience for me of being out in the mountains.